Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones, and we have another OBS setup for you guys today, and that is how to use VST plugins, those really nice professional plugins you might use in Pro Tools or Reaper in your live stream. So let's get started. Well, as it turns out, OBS does have all the cool plugins. You just have to add them and then do an extra step. And that's what we're gonna be showing you guys today. Let me just show you real fast what you guys get by default. As soon as you open up and you have your audio, you have your microphone plugged into your computer. In this case, we have the Deity VLOV. Go check it out, deitymic.com over there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on the gear. We go to filters, okay? Now we already have one added, it's called the limiter. You know I really love this filter. It's built in, it's sliders, it's numeric based, it's perfect. If I hit the plus button, you'll notice we really don't have a whole lot going on here. One of the biggest, lamest things about this is a basic EQ is missing for OBS. Like, we need EQ. So let's add some EQ, and we're gonna do that by adding a VST plugin. Well, that's all you gotta do is click it and VST plugin and boom, but they're not there. We need to install some plugins. We don't have any on this machine. And the best place to do that is to go and get them from Reaper. Well, Reaper does cost money. The plugins over here are free. We have a 64-bit operating system for Windows. So we're going to download it and boom, it's already downloaded. I'm gonna just click on it, open it up, say yes, of course, I agree to your EULA. There's all the stuff I wanna plug in and add to my stuff. And as you can see, we've got some dynamic compressors, we've got some dynamic stuff, and we, of course we've got that nice EQ that we're looking for. So we're gonna add all that. It's gonna do all the work for us and tell us where it wants to go. Of course, we're gonna say yes. Thanks Reaper for your free plugins. It's all completed. We're gonna close that up. Plugins are now installed. Awesome, let's go back. Let's click on it. And there they are, boom. We didn't even have to restart the program. It automatically rescanned. And as you can see, we have got everything we need. Thanks to Reaper. So I've selected my EQ. So it's called Re-EQ. Uh, and you can open your plugin interface and there we go. You know, now it's an EQ, but it still says VST. And if I start to add multiple of these VST plugins, you're gonna get VST plugin too. Let's do it one more time. Let me show you where this gets really confusing. Boom, and now we have VST plugin number two. What does this mean? Well, the first one is the EQ. So let's right click on it and let's rename it. So we're gonna call this EQ plugin. That should be as simple as that, right? It should already be there. And now we have it right there added. So if we go check our limiter, it's a limiter. Check on the EQ plugin. It's a VST plugin filter thing, but it's my EQ. And one of the reasons why I'm suggesting you guys go check out the free Reaper plugins, it's sliders. There's none of those weird knobs, things that show up in Pro Tools. It's sliders and numerical values, as well as a nice little graphic chart that again, if I need to, I can move this sideways. I can really kind of get there and dial in what my sound sounds like. And that's beautiful. So let me show you what this is doing. Let's give it that weird kind of boosted sound. So it really is dramatic. And I'm gonna chop off my highs right there because I really wanna come in and talk to you guys about the oomph in my voice. Why not? Sure. And as you can see, we can really kind of do a little bit. We can also add a little bit of extra gain because, of course, it's an EQ plugin. And that probably sounds very, very different than how it sounded before. Of course, I can do a reset. I can also show my grid. I can get rid of the grid, but I like the grid. You can also add extra bands. I mean, look at this. This is so nice. I got more bands in here and I can move these things around. I can add, make number six to the left or right of number five. Whatever you really want it to do, you've got the option to do that in this plugin. And now with this, you have an extra kind of set of tools for your OBS setup that really were missing. And now it's kind of more complete. So I'm going to get rid of this one because we're not actually using it. Get rid of that but I want to make it, oh, oh gosh, look at that. It's going all crazy. So let's put the limiter at the bottom. So now as I talk, you can see, boom, we are hitting that limiter and it is perfect once again. And there you go. It comes down into there and then it comes to here. You can also bring this down if you absolutely need to also. I like to leave it at full because the limiter that I add at the bottom of my list fixes everything that I added above that list. If you like this kind of content, go hit the subscribe button on this channel. Hit that bell for notifications so you can find out when we post brand new videos every single week. It is 2021 and we are coming back with a brand new list of videos and we really want your input on what we make. Mailbag is also gonna get a reformat. We've got a video coming up later about what's happening to the mailbag segment for our longtime fans of the channel. 
we've got some new and exciting things that's going to expand that segment where we actually take your mailbag questions. We're going to be giving away more VLOB, so we're going to be answering more questions in a bigger format. All that coming up later in a video that we'll talk about what's happening here on the channel. And that is it. I am Andrew from DD Microphones, and thank you guys for watching. Hey, if you like this kind of content and you want to learn more about live streaming or podcasting with your computer, we actually did a whole tutorial video where we recorded a podcast using the Chrome browser with Deity Steve. Go check out that video right here.